Hi uh, students, my name is Udara Soisa, attorney at law and a senior lecturer with University of London programs, uh, working at several registered centers and working on my own program right now. And um, in this uh, short presentation, we will discuss uh, certain practical elements and certain conceptual realities when attempting the University of London exam questions. So I urge you to stay with the program, stay with our YouTube channel, and of course, for any um, other help related to the University of London programs, you can call me up 977-3235-418 or udara2004 at gmail.com. Thank you, stay tuned, and I would like to help you to be successful with the University of London programs. Thank you, stay tuned. Let's try to figure out what is a cornership? Cornership means basically you should have two or more owners, right? Two or more owners. And remember, all cornerships are trust, right? So after Tulata, 1996, all cornerships are now trust of land. From earlier, it was trust of sale, now trust of land. But remember, there needs to be at least two people, two corners. But remember, only four corners can exist in law. In equity, there could be any amount, according to Tolata 1996. Minimum number of people, two people. For legally, title, four people, equitably, any amount of people, obviously, right? So if it's law, the name should be in the prior register in the land registry, right? And remember, there are two types of cornership, joint tenancy and tenancy in common. And we will learn about various trust types, resulting and constructive, and we will also learn about severance later on, right? So all in all, we now know the basics. We now know the basics of ownership. What is ownership? What are the two types of ownership? Joint and tenancy in common. And these ownerships are trust of land. And finally, we also understand that the number of people that exist for that law and that equity for ownership. I hope this short and sweet video is useful to you. Have a wonderful study.